Hi everyone, in this video we are going to have a look to a new brand feature in Copilot called Notebooks. This is available in the m 5 dashboard, so let me show you how this new capability works. Let's go! And here I am in my m 5 dashboard, this is the new UI, I made a previous video how you can use the new one with all option. So now I'm going to focus on this one, Notebooks. This is the new brand Copilot feature that will allow you to create a sort of container folder where you can store references to files, chats, history with your Copilot and so on. So let's start immediately to create a new notebook. You have two options here. You can click directly from this link or on top on the top right corner here. So here you can select the name of your notebook. In this case I'm going to type something. Climate change as a demo and example. I have here a bunch of selection that I can reference. So I can reference for example a OneNote page that I have, a PDF and they are selected now as you can see here to the bottom under selected references. What I can do is also selecting and targeting my OneDrive so I can select other files that I have here for example this one administering Office 365 for small, small business. And here we go, I selected now three files as a reference for my notebook. Let's say that I'm good to go now and all I need to do of course is to click on the button create. Now I created this one, this notebook and here I can add the copilot instructions if I want as example, what I type it here, please create a bullet list of the major causes for climate change. I'm going to save this one. And here I had the basic instructions. So you can also add instructions like be polite and informal, things like that. And then here you can add your prompt. So you can ask anything about your references that you have here down below, or you can just ask whatever and Copilot will help you to find what you are looking for. Moreover there is this other capability which is the get audio overview. So if you select this, this may take up two minutes, this will uh, look into the references, will combine information and then will uh, give you an audio output and you can also select more languages if you want, but for the moment it's the English is the one supported. So here I can also create a new page inside this notebook. This is very, very cool because in the notebooks, which is like a folder, then you can create co-pilot pages about your research or your uh, brainstorming with your colleagues. It's very, very powerful. So. Let me type an, uh, another, again, climate change here. There you go. Here I can tap whatever I want and I can also open this in Word if I want. So let's let's try to do that. Is it is working on it? I can now click on Open Word. This will open a new instance in the browser, a new tab. And what I have here is a Word document and I have a loop component now in the in the page, so whatever I will type here, then I will be able to rework again directly in the Copilot notebook. All right, we have this now. Let me type just some word here just to have something. Okay, now it's save it. I can close it. I can close this again, and here also I can lock the page. This is basically a uh, Powered loop page. So then you have all loop capabilities and you can also open a new chat, you can add icon, you can add a cover, the text and if I add the slash I'm going to have all loops components available in this page. Alright, that's it. Here I can share of course 
with my colleague, I can copy the component or the page link, but let me now close it. Now, this will be dropped here and I can easily find every page that I create in a notebook by going on the tab pages. And this is the one that I just created. So clicking on all, I can see all references. I can filter also for OneNote. I have several options. So now let's say that I'm ready to add additional references. I can also upload a new file that I have here. Let me see if I have something that I can reuse. Advanced Windows Store app development. Let me go with this one. And this, of course, will be stored on my OneDrive. I can also link something. So going again on references, I will see also the new file just added here listed. I can remove if I don't want to have this reference listed here. All right, let's say that now I'm ready to ask whatever I want. Let's do a, a test. Please elaborate on the major causes of climate change. Let's send this to Copilot and now Copilot will uh, elaborate this information. What you can see here is that when you have the normal chat with Copilot, now there is something different because I am located in a notebooks, as you can see here on the left. And now I have this reference here as well. This means that I am in a notebook and this is the search that I'm doing using Copilot. It's, or better, it's my prompt. All right, here I got the answer and this could be also a page. So if I want to turn this as a page, I'm going to click on edit. And now this response, it's a, a new page that could be easily modified it together with my colleague. All right, let me close this one. And if you want to go back, so this is the, the, the prompt, which is turned in a page. And this is why you see now this as an icon. And what I can do here is go back to my notebook. If I want, I can do the same by clicking here, but let's let me click here and then I will go back, let's say to the main page of my notebook, which is climate change. All right. So, and this is my prompt, but if I click here under chats, now we can see as a history, my last interaction and prompt with Copilot. So now this is how notebook work in Copilot and it's, it's a fantastic way if you are creating a, an adoption plan, a marketing campaign, or you are doing a, just a research about a product so you can brainstorm all together with your team in one single OneNote. And you can collect all information that you need plus references. Did you enjoy this video? If yes, please consider to subscribe and like. Write a comment down below. Let me know what do you think about this new capability. Are you going to give it a try? I hope to see you next time. Bye.